Hey Lyra, what? What, did you like the ride? Yeah, it didn't scare me. It didn't? All right, Ape. We are at the Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom today. We actually came for the pass holder magnet. And we're gonna try and ride some things today. We'll see what we can get into. So the magnet and cookie is in Dino Land, so you need need to go to Dino Land to get it. Okay, so in Dino Land, you're gonna come to the sign to get your Donald Duck magnet. And it's right where you dig for the fossils. So we just got our magnet. Donald Duck with a little Buzz Buzz the Bee. Buzz Buzz. Yeah. What's his real name? Spike. Oh, Spike. Oh, he's fun. Buzz Buzz. It's because in the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, he is the he's, Buzz Buzz. He is the Buzz Buzz. So we've got half holder magnet, Donald Duck with Spike. Now we're going to try and go to the Kilimanjaro Safari. Safari booking office. Would you like to book your safari? Forests, those are called bongos. They get the nicknames the ghosts of the forest as they are very shy and reclusive and they do like to hide. Those are called pink tobacco pelicans. And they get that name because underneath their feathers, their skin turns pink during the mating season. Some say that they blush for one another. Now you'll see a lot of them are grooming their feathers over on the island. They actually have oil that comes off of their skin and they spread that onto their feathers and it does help to keep them waterproof when they go for a swim. These are Nile crocodiles to our left. Now they grow to be about 16 feet long and they can jump their body length out of the water. It's pretty impressive. You see some of them along the riverbank have their mouths wide open. These are called eland. They're the largest of all the antelope. That gray one's the male. He stands about six feet tall at the shoulders. Hey girl. <laughs> the tan one is the female. She's about a foot shorter. Ooh, over on our left side, these are African wild dogs. Ooh. Oh, man. Now, they're one of the most successful hunters in Africa, and that's because of pack mentality and great communication skills. They have about an 80% success rate on their hunts. Now that's much more successful than any of the large cat species in Africa. Those are white bearded wildebeest. Now they are the second most densely populated mammals on the planet. And that is second only to us humans. And they can be seen in herds as large as 1.5 million individuals. I don't think that herd is a million individuals, so it's most likely not migration season at the moment. <laughs> Now the wildebeest, they get their name, it's an Afrikaans word, and it literally translates to mean wild beast. You'll get a view of a giraffe on the right side. Now that is a Maasai giraffe with those irregular jagged shaped spots on its body. Looks like there must be some leaves in that tree stump, so it's taking advantage of eating those leaves. Now a giraffe's favorite food is the acacia. Acacia is in the form of trees and bushes, and they do have thorns around those leaves. You'll see just in between those palm trees on the left, there are two baby giraffe that are a couple of months old. Now when born, a giraffe's only about six feet tall, and when fully grown, they'll reach to be up to 20 feet tall. All right, now it looks like there's a lot of knocked over trees, so maybe we're gonna find a larger animal. Now the males, they weigh about 100 pounds and they're most well known for those red and blue markings that appear on their faces. Oh. <laughs> those markings actually do get brighter as they get more excited about something. These are called greater flamingos. They're the tallest and lightest color pink of all the flamingo species. Now they get that pink coloration from the food they eat in the water. It's called brine shrimp. That shrimp contains a protein, beta keratin, which gives them their beautiful pink feathers. It does take about two years to fully turn pink. See, they are covered in mud, so they definitely did the rolling around in the mud. Very large animals. Now the lions, you'll see them resting about about 16 to 20 hours a day. They're lounging about. They save up all that energy for a hunt they would take later on in the evening. Male lions will 
stay behind and guard the territory as well as their cubs while the females are the ones that actually go out and do the hunting. Make me Sometimes a sandwich. I like to call male lions. <laughs> now all three of these ostrich are females because they have gray feathers. The males have black feathers. Looks like the goats kind of took over though, hanging out on the kitchen table. <laughs> Now these are adults, they won't get any bigger than that. Their small size means they don't require too much space. That gives more land back to those animals in the wild. And they're also very friendly and playful by nature. It does help them to socialize. Now here in Harambe, we don't like saying goodbye. It's far too sad and final. So instead, I like to say quagarini, which means to go well. Okay. Last ride of the day, we're going on dinosaur. Wow! Look at the dinosaur. Yeah. The Dino Institute. Did you like the ride? Yeah, it didn't scare me. The didn't? Primal Whirl, no longer operating. Is this the same dinosaur that's uh, at Holly? Gertie. Gertie? Gertie. Yeah.